But it's a very important piece of rep and BPM mapping. So what grouping means is grouping has to occur when boxes are close to one another. So that's the easiest thing to remember when we say grouping. Boxes are close to one another. So we're going to start with a quick video just to give you an overview of grouping, and then we've got some examples for you. To access grouping, click the Edit Book List icon from the left panel. Next, go to the first address in your group and select the type of point you'd like to group. From the pop-up window, select the last address in the group you want to create. All addresses in the sequence between your first and last address will now also be selected. Finally, choose whether or not you want to group with mail stops, and voila, your group is created. Groups are indicated by an anchor icon. To ungroup addresses, click the anchor of the group you want to undo, and click the Clear button. All right, so again, just uh, that overview of groupings. So let's show you some examples. But first off, you're going to see groupings, and you're actually going to see groupings that are already established upon entry into BPM. So again, the system has already grouped them together for you because we see that they're close together. They still have to be verified just the same. But to know that it's part of a group, then you're going to see that anchor. That indicates that is the first address in a list of group addresses. And then below that, those dark blue icons, that dark blue mail truck, dark blue mailbox, indicates those addresses are also part of the grouping. So here I've got three addresses. These are curved line addresses. These addresses are close to one another, within five feet of one another. So we have created a group because they are close to one another. Just some rules that you have to follow when you are grouping. Curved boxes can only be grouped with curved boxes. Other boxes can only be grouped with other boxes. CBU and central mail stops can be grouped together, but CBU and central mail boxes cannot be mixed. Front doors and park points can be grouped together if they share the same or similar address. So an example of when you would group for park point or door location is let's say the courier delivers to uh, a building and inside that building, office building, there's 10 suites. So there's 10 addresses in that. What you would do is obviously there would only be one park point for those 10 addresses, right? Uh, we park in the same location for all 10 addresses. And then if we leave all the packages, at the door, uh, at the reception at this, we don't go to the individual addresses. That would be a, a situation when you would group as well. All right, so we're going to start off talking about grouping for regular boxes. Grouping for regular boxes. Like I said, mail stop groupings have to occur when boxes are within five feet. But before I go any further, okay, make sure you're paying attention to this statement, guys. We have to group a BPM. It is a requirement of RECs and it's a requirement of the application. When we group boxes, I don't care if we group four boxes or if we group 400 boxes. The carrier still gets paid for every single box they deliver to, whether it is part of a group or not. Okay, just wanted to clear that up. Don't want any confusion out there. The carrier still gets paid for every single box, whether it is part of a group or not. All right, so in this example, I've got four addresses at this location. These boxes are clearly within five feet of one another. So you can group mail stops and you can group mail boxes. So first, we're going to talk about the mail stops. So we would have one mail stop group because those four boxes are clearly within five feet of one another. Now we got to talk about our mailbox group. So in this particular case, because one, the boxes are close to one another, and they're on the same post, you would group with mailboxes. So when you go to create this group, you click the first address, you click the second address, and then you get this pop-up, and you would click group with mailboxes. So that would create your group at the same exact time. Save you a few minutes down the road. All right, the next example is two boxes. So these two boxes are clearly within five feet of one another, but they are separated by a little distance. And I understand the carrier is probably 
can't get both boxes at one time. You have to pull up a little bit to get to that second box. No problem. But they're still within five feet of one another, so you have to group them. But because there is a couple feet in between them, but still less than five feet, you would only group the male stock. So you group the male stock because they're, for both addresses, because they're within five feet. But you would not need to group the male boxes because they're separated on separate posts, okay? There's some distance between the two. 